What is Oracle Cloud Infra Architect Certification 10932? Who all should be doing this certification? How to prepare for this exam? And how to get 35 sample questions or you call dumps for Oracle Cloud Infra Architect Certification 10932? I'm going to cover all this in today's episode. Welcome to episode 27 of weekly video series with me, Atul Kumar from Team Ketone Academy where we help you in your journey to Oracle Cloud and transition you from beginner to an expert on Oracle Cloud. So let's first begin with what is this OCI 10932 certification is and who this exam is for. So this Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Certification 10932 is for professionals responsible for designing infrastructure solutions using Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Services like Identity and Access Management or building Linux or Windows machines on both bare metal or virtual machines, configuring networks like virtual cloud network, subnets, routing tables, security list, or integrating with on-premise using VPN Connect or Fast Connect, or connecting application tiers with a database tier. Or for system administrators managing storage or different type of storage like block storage, file storage service, or object storage, and then database admin or application administrators who are building applications and databases on OCI. Now OCI supports number of applications. So if anyone working on Oracle eBusiness Suite, JD Edward, PeopleSoft, Hyperion, SOA Suite, WebLogic Server or standalone databases. All these on-premise applications can now run on OCI or are running on OCI. So if you are an apps DB working on business applications like eBusiness Suite, Hyperion, PeopleSoft, JD Edward or DBA is working on databases or Fusion Middleware Administrator working on SOA, WebLogic, OBIE or any other Fusion Middleware applications or a security admin or a network engineer or a system administrator and architects. So if you're responsible for any of these applications or would like to start your career on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, this certification is for you. So now let's look at exam details. So if you go onto the exam page, you will notice that there are total 66 questions that come in the exam. And in order to clear, you need 65% correct. So roughly around 43 questions, you need to answer them correctly. The exam fees is roughly around 194 pounds. If you want to see the price in your country, go here and change the price and you will see how much does it cost in your country. So in India, it's roughly around 10,000 rupees. You have multiple choice questions and if you or your company is a Oracle Partner Network member, you get 25% discount on exam. Now let's look at exam topics. So there are five main topics from an exam point of view. First is identity and access management. So you should know about users, groups, basic authentications, and two other things, which is compartment and policies. I've covered both of these in previous episodes, which I'll share uh, here a link for you. Then next is about compute, which is you need to know both bare metal and virtual compute, including the shapes, as well as how do you attach boot volumes for compute machines. Then third topic is about networking and that in my view is again very important topic. So you should know things like virtual cloud network, subnet, public and private subnet, virtual network interface cards. How do you connect your OCI with on-premise or components within OCI? Also about things like load balancers and edge services like DNS. I'll again share some of the previous episodes worth looking at in past about networking. Then you should know about storage and within storage, three main type of storage, that's block storage, object storage, and file storage service. And then finally is about databases, two different type of databases, user managed and autonomous databases, including how do you provision these databases. Now I'll be covering the percentage of each of these topics in detail in my part two of this series. So next is how to register for this exam. If you head back to this URL, I've created easy to remember URL on our website. So you can go to ketonacademy.com forward slash 1009304 where 100932 is the exam number. So go to this URL, we'll go to the page like this and you click on register for this exam. When you click on this registration, 
Now, don't register it yet till you're prepared for this, and which I'm going to cover in part two of this series, how to prepare for this exam confidently within eight weeks so you can clear your it in first attempt and what all things you should prepare, what all hands-on you should perform in order to clear the certification. So when you come to this website, make sure you have an account on Oracle. If you don't have create an account in Oracle and then create register on this Pearson view. And through this, you will be registering for this exam. So next is how to prepare for this exam. So if you go back to the same page, which I was discussing earlier, scroll down and you and go to under section exam preparation and you will have exam recommended training. And this is where you will see the learning subscription from Oracle University. So you have learning subscription just for OCI, which will cost you somewhere around 140,000 in Indian rupees. And if you're in US, th this is roughly around $3,000, which in my view is a lot of money. Now, two challenges I see with Oracle University training is that first, there's no support during and post of the training. If you have to ask questions, there'll be no one around you. These are self-learning trainings. You need someone with whom you can discuss these questions while preparing for exam or post exam when you work on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure in real implementation. You need someone who can provide you job support. And second problem I see is there is no discussion about exam questions at all in these learning subscriptions. But to help you, if you go to this exam study guide, you will find some useful content within this exam guide. Now there are some one day recorded YouTube videos and big credit goes to the OCI team for guys like Rohit, Bal, Eli, Flavio or Jamal and their entire team for doing a wonderful job on these videos. I think there's something you must look at thoroughly on these uh, videos, but that comes with a fair warning. Now, for me personally, I felt is that content is a little bit outdated. Last update on this material is 8th of February 2019, which is a considerable time if you look at cloud. A lot of things have changed since then. A lot of material I found is outdated. Now, despite all these downs, the reason why almost all my students who are part of my OCI Architect 100932 certification program, they've completed the certification and now working on projects, helping their customers is because they get live interactive sessions with all the exam questions. And our training material is constantly updated as things change in cloud. And trust me, there have been a lot of updates in OCI in recent months. And not only just live interactive sessions, you also get a full one year on job support as part of this training. And when I talk about changes in OCI, the like in module two identity and access management, we have recently updated moving resources across compartment or moving compartment itself. And I also did a blog on this recently. So check it out at ketonacademy.com forward slash 25. Or if you're watching this directly on YouTube, you can look at playlist. Then in module three of networking, I'll be covering network security group, a new feature that Oracle introduced a few weeks back for firewall at a virtual IP level. I'll be covering all these new changes in the new batch starting on 7th of September. And if you're not yet part of my training program, and would like to become an Oracle certified cloud architect so that you can earn a lot more, then I would like to invite you for a free masterclass by going to this URL ketoninacademy.com forward slash 1009320. Now, next week in part two of this series, I'm going to share a link to get these 25 questions that I've compiled for you and 10 questions from Oracle website so you can practice these questions. So stay tuned for next week where I'll discuss how you can prepare for this certification in eight weeks. I'll see you next week.